Right now, what I will say that I saw inside is many of Jalen's teachers actually coming together, you know, it's before the school year starts and, and they voluntarily came out to support one another, to support anyone who comes in. The Downey Community School in Brockton is where 10 year old Jalen Bush Victorian would have started fifth grade one week from today. Instead, grief counselors are inside the school, comforting his teachers, classmates and friends. Jalen was killed Saturday when this stolen Jeep crashed into the Nissan Altima that Jalen and his parents and three siblings were riding in on Route 1 in Plainville. The man who was accused of causing the deadly crash, Michael Escolis, is seen here in court earlier this week. He's being held on $100,000 cash bail on charges that include motor vehicle manslaughter and OUI liquor second defense. But inside the Downey School, the focus is on how Jalen lived and helping people struggling to cope with his death. Today, um, we have school social workers that will be meeting with students individually, faculty individually. So that's an option. And also the other option is to meet together collectively to lean on one another and, and talk about um, some fond memories of Jalen. Um, he was an amazingly sweet, kind, thoughtful young man and a light for this community and for this school. As part of the grief counseling today, we're told that students were making condolence cards that will be delivered to the family. Jalen's mother is employed by the Brockton Public School System and that she too will receive the support she needs as both a parent and an employee. Reporting live in Brockton, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.